morning, America. Breaking overnight. Major Plus, a new headline dividing parents. Could quitting actually be good for your kids? Our insiders will join us in just two minutes. We're going to move on now to an article in the Wall Street Journal that caught our eye. It asked the question, when is it okay to let your children quit an activity like piano lessons, soccer, ballet, swimming right there? Let's bring in clinical psychologist Dr. Elizabeth Lombardo. And, and Dr. Lombardo, the word quit sounds so negative, but the article makes the point that it can be constructive if it's done the right way. Yeah, so the word quick definitely has negative connotations. And yet there may be some benefits to letting your children stop activities. On one hand, they can focus their energy and time on other things like academics or other extracurricular activities. And on the other hand, they can actually have some free time to do things mm -hmm. like have a family dinner. Research shows that kids who have dinner with their families do better academically, they have less stress, and they're less likely to engage in risky behaviors. I remember when my mom let me quit gymnastics after six years and I felt this weight lifted off mm -hmm. of me. How important is it to let your kids be a part of the decision-making process? This is a great opportunity to teach your children decision making. Have your child come up with the pros and cons of stopping the activity, as well as the pros and cons of sticking with it. And work through the problem solving process with them. Not only will they get this skill of how to solve problems rationally, but an added bonus, they're more likely to buy into your decision, which is the ultimate decision, if they're part of that process. Yeah. Mine was when I got to quit the marching band. <laughs> what was your instrument? Trumpet. <laughs> I also <laughs> got to quit the French horn. I was horrible oh, at it. See, I anything? disagree with you guys. I had quit piano lessons and I really regret not being able to read music. But thank God I didn't have to keep going with tennis lessons. <laughs> Dan? I gave up on the violin. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I, think, I think everyone, I think everyone was very relieved by that, both my music teacher and my family. Yeah. Yeah. We'll end on that note. <laughs> right. All right, Dan, thanks so much, Dr. Lombardo, Becky. We appreciate it. Coming up next, Geo is in Central Park, where it's getting really loud.